Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Techmatic. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. And in today's PAL World video, we're going to be taking a look at the first patch that is supposed to clear up a lot of the uh, pathing issues with PALs. I know that certain PALs would get stuck performing certain jobs. Like, let's say that these two Verdash that are over here kicking the heck out of this tree. If the tree was cut down before the, uh, while the secondary Verdash was going to assist with that project and there was no more object there it would get stuck in this perpetual stance um, and it looks like it's been alleviated so the other thing was pals getting stuck on top of trees boulders buildings and other um, structures within the base itself and preventing them from doing any other job so there was a patch uh, part of today's ongoings that had assisted in alleviating that and i believe that the pals themselves are able to go ahead and complete tasks at different ranges instead of being right up on top of the resource itself they can go ahead and kind of uh i've i've seen this guy my little sparklet um kind of like stand right here and still be able to go ahead and generate electricity but so far, everybody looks to be, you know, kind of doing what they need to do. I don't see any random resources being left on the ground. Everything looks like it's being stored properly. So that's something good. But a lot of the, the confusion was around, you know, multiple resources and the pals not being able to go ahead and actually, you know, logically determine like oh do i pick up this re resource or this resource and they would just get stuck in a perpetual loop until the items despawned so let me take a look at my chest real quick and see what we have in here not that one looks like we got some coal and some ore but then this one was made as kind of like a primary for all of them and it looks like they managed to gather more ore this time another um feature that has been added with this patch and as if you can you can see that I'm over the carrying capacity and normally you would be able to like basically be stuck in this position until you drop something but now they made it so that you can move slowly so that you can kind of turtle your way uh, taking resources along with you and depositing them i could probably pick up this stuff and now i'm at 3300 kilograms and i could acquire those bars and now i'm at 38 95.3 kilograms so this is a very welcome change because everyone knows having to go ahead and you know kind of do the whole grapple hook thing where you would have like your entire load of equipment and then you'd be like all right i need to get it to that chest and then do that scroll out of it so that you can break that animation that is very much welcome oh and by the way i went ahead and put some uh features into my base that I kind of make it look a little bit more like home not my home but yeah i mean We've got a medical station now that's the other key feature of this patch too it is now safe to use the memory wiping medicine so that you can go ahead and reset your attributes on your character without fear of losing your life monk effigy unlocks so that all those can be refunded and you can respend them on the um the items themselves and i think that's about it for right now they did a Fix an issue where the armor could be equipped in the wrong slot. I guess you could wear two pieces of armor and get away with double the defense that way. Adjusted camera position for several pals to make it easier to see when mounted. And they also fixed an issue where a, a player would be mounted on their uh, pal. And then when they dismounted, they were able to clip into certain objects. That's been patched out as well. So for right now, it looks like a lot more work is getting done without pals getting stuck on multiple tasks. And I was about to say, never mind, this guy's stuck on a tree, but he's a flying character, so that's all good. And actually, let's set up some tasks and let's see them go to work. I want 30 more of those, and I want 30 more of that. I got 30 more of those. I will kind of want to see how the... Ooh, yeah, like that. I would, 
I would have to like put a storage bin right next to it, but let's go ahead and create about that much more. And now I'm moving like a turtle, but hey, I'm at least able to move. And here comes all my pals to access the workstations. If you haven't watched my base, uh, advanced base building video, you know, you can kind of get the layout for this. I went ahead and put this in here, even though it protrudes at the top. And thank you guys for uh, alerting me about the different temperature ranges of the eggs themselves, that these assembly lines do not produce any heat. It just, it's a condition of the egg itself. So thank you for making me aware of that. And again, thank you for all the people that have subbed during this time for this PAL world content. Really appreciate it. And I think I'm going to end it here. This has been my video. Thank you very much. It looks like everything's working a lot better. Please like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you all in the next one. Have a good night.